All right, before we can do deep chest, we have to take out, not take out, we have to dissect one shoulder muscle, and it's right here. It's called clavobrachialis. Its other name is clavodeltoid. And if you did pecto antebrachialis, the line should be incredibly obvious. Not this one. That's the upper fibers of major. We're going to leave that down. It's this one. Watch how easy this is. And I'm going to have to flip this cat a little bit. So I'm going to lift this up. There's all kinds of cotton candy under there. There's nerves and connected tissue. You can hear that noise it's making. Now, if you can't get through those, what do you do? Just use your scissors. Baby nip. Baby nip. I'm just going to keep going. And this muscle is going to go all the way up into the throat area. It's going to be really super tight right here. We'll deal with that in a second. So I'm just doing the easy part right now. And I'm good. All right, now what I'm trying to do, I hope I can show this to you. There we go. What I'm trying to do is get to the other side on the arm. Now, there's a lot of connective tissue here, but watch. See where that thing's buckling? Can you see that buckle? Yeah. That's where you want to dissect. Some of you are going to have this big blue vein. I'm not worried about this. In college, you're going to have to dissect around it. I'm not worrying about it. And look, just by pulling that connective tissue, look what happened. I'm through. I was just doing simple hold on to it and just doing a little drag technique right by that blue vein, pulling that tissue off like that. And you can see I'm putting quite a bit of pressure here. This cat has some fat on it as well. I'm not worrying about this blue vein. I'm just pulling that connective tissue off. And you can see that thing's opening up all by itself. And we're going to take it, it actually attaches to the clavicle right about, I'm going to put a hole in this cat, right there. I don't know if you can see that on the net. So now I'm going to take my scissors. Here's the rest of the line. Just like paper. And then we're going to stop right there where it hits this next muscle. Okay, that's about 95% done. That took literally 30 seconds. So I'm going to flip it back this way. This is where everybody quits, and I need you to keep going. Okay, let me reposition this kitty cat. There you go. Because this is where it gets tough. Right here, it's attached to major. This is clavobrachialis, the spectralis major. All right, now if I flip this open, there's just a little bit of connective tissue separating the two. And if I close my scissors, this should come out. Well, should come out right in the neck. I'm not quite there yet. So I'm going to keep good pressure. I'm not going to cut that way. That line is right in that groove right there. So I'm going to hold good pressure. I'm going to slide the sharp side in and just close it. Why is that not cutting? Let me try another pair of scissors. Those scissors are getting retired. Just slide it in there. And what we're going to do, now that's open. You can see all this white right here. I want to disconnect the clavicle from the sternum. Watch. It just come off. Beautiful. And then I'm going to dissect. I'm going to keep dissecting, keep dissecting until my scissors pop out. Dude, come on, why won't they pop out? Hold on, I'm going to get this. I'm not going to get it today. Okay, dissect it to the point where you can get your finger and make a big, giant pothole. And what we've done is cleared the top of major. Major's clear, and I'm not kidding you. I'm gonna have somebody else feel this. There's the clavicle. Go ahead, Emmy, feel that. Feel the clavicle? Mm -hmm. The clavicle should be in between your fingers, and the end of it should be loose. And I should be able to get my finger under pectoralis major. That's gonna allow us to finish the dissection in the next video, okay? So that is clavobrachialis, easy part, and then disconnect the clavicle and produce that big pothole for me right there. Go.